are known to many, when a trade is near to a higher time frame levels, it's likely going to see an explosive movement. Today, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin because it's near to the watch and means monthly level, quarterly levels. And we're going to come up with two levels that you need to pay attention to and why I think that Bitcoin is likely going to move up. Remember to watch till the end because I'm going to give you the two levels to look at so that you can monitor into Bitcoin. Before you proceed, my video use a concept which is called wash and means, they learn wash. And I think that you need to view this video first before proceeding. Otherwise, you find that some of the things I've talked about will be a little bit more alien. So with this, uh, let's proceed to an analysis in Bitcoin. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? Let's move on to the technical aspects of Bitcoin. Uh, there was a resistance that turned into a uh, support here and then there's a uh, resistance that turned into support you know eventually moved up bitcoin is right now resisted at the 32500 gray bar that you've seen okay because of the previous resistance and and right now it's forming another resistance okay so that's on the bare clean chart that we can see now if we move a little bit back and we can understand why there was a resistance here and that's because this was the zone of a previous support that turns into a resistance. Okay. But I just wanted to inspect into the Bitcoin a little bit into more detail whether this is right now resistance or it can be a support lever. If I map in the lowest possible value here of Bitcoin during 2021 levels, all right, it seems that um, the recent behavior here, that means the recent upward move, had already broken above it. In order to make sure that it's a valid break, I want to inspect into the higher time frame to see whether the month chart had a close above it because previously the month chart didn't close above it. So it seems that last month, which is June, right, it closed above the previous low that can act as a resistance. Okay. Now all these are not enough because it's not enough to paint a story. Uh, what I like to do is to switch to another template which consists of the alien wash, the wash lines. Okay. Now if you had done the, this tutorial here when I talk about how to draw in the wash line, right, one of the things that was not covered in the tutorial is that we are able to draw in wash line across different time frame. That means not only on the day time frame that we trade, but to draw in the wash lines on the week or the month or the quarter priced level. Now, when you draw in a higher time frame wash lines, it means that these are moves that comes from the higher time frame and these are more significant movement. I'm gonna just gonna put in my template that shows the multiple time frame or wash lines here gives me uh, you know that that significant uh, levels okay so here I have which is the wash lines that comes from the month all right and the quarter now what this means is these are wash lines where price had a close above a month wash line and also above a quarter wash line so let's flip to the month chart and you realize that there was a close above the previous high, I'm able to create this wash line here. Okay, and when I flip that into the quarter, right, there was a close above the quarter high, and I can draw in the wash line here, and I can look at all these lines in the lower time frame. Now, what this means is that because I have these two sets of wash lines, and these two sets of wash line right now price at above them, I'd be looking to buy at these two sets of wash lines. Okay. Uh, of course, then if price doesn't hold above these two wash lines here, you know, I'd be looking to go short. But until it is below this set of wash lines, then that would be a chance for me to go long. Okay. And the price would be around 29,200, which is a quarter wash line and about 29,800. So these would be zones for me to look out for, for a buy. So I'm looking out for some price reaction into this zone here, which is about 20,200 and 20,800. Now, what am I looking at, right? Okay, first I need to always go to the lower time frame and then make sure that price stays above this zone to look for lower time frame reaction. That means to look for a lower time frame trigger. And right now I'm not seeing it yet. 
okay, meaning that I'm not seeing any bullish wash and means in the lower time frame. Okay, so I will continue to monitor this. Uh, the second levels that I'm monitoring and 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 uh, there is a specific reason why. All right, is this level here, which is this twenty eight thousand three hundred level. So this would be the twenty eight thousand three hundred level that I'm monitoring. Why am I monitoring this level? Because price had a structure break. Because these are the downward structure. Only at this point here, where we had a structure break, so the structure moves higher. I'm expecting a bit of a retracement here into this zone here. But if it doesn't hold, it doesn't have a bullish uh, signal for me. Then I'll be looking at this which it comes to the high of the previous structure so that's about 28,200 here and then the other region again I repeat it's about 29,200 to 29,800 these are all high time frame levels okay what we do is we always go to the lower time frame for an entry Okay, so when I see an entry, I'll update you. Or if you like to, you can set in an alert, which I always do. That means that when there is any signal, I'll receive an alert. Uh, in this video here, so this is where I illustrated the alerts I received in Euro Kiwi. Whenever they are near to important levels, the screeners will automatically scan for wash and rain signals, and then the alerts would be sent to me. So keep these two levels in mind, and I hope that in future I will update how it this trade moves and if you do like to receive more trade ideas more trade thoughts from me the wash and rinse point of view please remember to subscribe to the channel and do click on the like button so that more people will get to know about this you know wash and rinse as well as uh, this video